Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Breath of the Wild and episode 119 of our blind playthrough of this lovely game. Uh, hey, in the last episode, we were working on Daruk's song. First off, we finished Rivali's song, uh, and now we're working on Daruk's song, which has us... Here in Elden, stopping a titan of molten stone. We haven't done that one yet. Following rings of light alone. We have done that. And surviving lava's fiery fate. We've done that, but we have not gone over to the shrine. That, uh, and finished it just yet. So, let's go there now. I also should probably talk to these guys and see what they think of the fact that I just stood inside of some lava. Pump it up, brother! What happened here? I look away for one blasted second and the glowing ring disappears. Now I can't try that epic training. Woe is me, brother. Brother, Brosif, Broski. So sweaty, brother. Glowing ring is gone. Now I don't have to do that training, thank God. <laughs> Feel the burn. I've recently started coaching uh, middle school cross country. I'm an assistant coach for a middle school cross-country team. That's me at practice. Feel the burn! No, that's not me. Um, the glowing ring is gone. Does that mean has someone completed it? Not possible. Oh, it's possible. Oh, it's possible. It's possible and it's done. All right. Uh, let's see what this shrine has to offer. Oh, hello. I remember fighting you. I don't want to do it anymore. I am a little, uh... Uh, how, how should I phrase this? I'm a little scared to fight guardians right now after my guardian, uh... <laughs> guardian Skywatcher experience recently. Hey, we're really uh, early into this episode, so this gives me a good chance to talk about it. Um, I figured I should just talk about this in this episode, um, because or in an episode soon, so that y'all you all know. Uh, I've had a lot of questions recently. I don't think I've talked about this in an episode. I've talked about it in YouTube comments. I've talked about it on stream. Uh, I've talked about it over in Discord. I don't know that I've talked about it in an episode. If I already have, forgive me. Uh, but I've had a lot of questions recently about when I will start Tears of the Kingdom. It's called Block the Blaze. Okay, I'm going to remember that. I've had a lot of questions recently about when I will start Tears of the Kingdom uh, and when I will play it and whether or not I will play it directly after I finish Breath of the Wild, whenever that may be. I, have I, I, did I say this on an episode already? I can't remember. Uh, I am not planning on plan I, I i will just say almost 99 percent uh certainly certain with almost 99 percent certainty i will not be playing tears of the kingdom right after breath of the wild i'm going to play a different game first and very likely it's probably not going to be a zelda game i know that's probably heartbreaking for many of you uber zelda fans and especially you zelda fans who are really loving uh tears of the kingdom right now um I, that decision is not based on how much I like Breath of the Wild or don't like it. Obviously, I love it. I'm sure that I'm going to love Tears of the Kingdom. However, uh, I've been doing this thing for a while, and I've been existing inside of my specific brain for 30 years now, and I know how it works. And um, in the past, I did this once. I played a game, and then I promised to play the sequel right afterwards, and that was really not great for my mental health. Um, all of a sudden, I was looking forward to doing this. I, I was thinking about doing the sequel as like a commitment that I had made to people rather than just something that I was very excited to get up every day and work on. Um, I have to safeguard that excitement more than I have to worry about anything else in this business of making videos uh, because my excitement is all that I have. If, I'm, if I wake up in the morning and I'm excited to record a series or a game, uh, that's the most important thing to me. This is a long series. Obviously, Tears of the Kingdom would be a long one, too, in order to make sure 
that I am 100% excited for Tears of the Kingdom. I will be taking a break after Breath of the Wild. I'll be playing other games, and then we'll come back to it. Do I know when? I, I, I don't, and I cannot, unfortunately, know when it will be time to play Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe it'll be a month after. I would guess it would be a little bit more than that. Um, I hope that's. I hope you understand that. I'm sure. I'm, I, I know many of you understand it because I've already spoken to you in the comments or over on Twitch or in the Discord about it. But um, yeah, I. That comes from experience, I promise, and also from uh. And and is just uh. Out of an overabundance of caution, the worst thing in the world for would be for me to be playing, Tears of the Kingdom and be burnt out or not excited to play it. Because that game, from everything that I can tell, deserves our utter excite my utter excitement, right? It deserves my very best. Oh no, please don't. Oh, okay, I'm on fire. It's fine. So, yeah. There's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to talk about it more in the comments. That's just kind of the brief uh, two minute version of why that is. Uh, that looks breakable. Uh, was I just supposed to walk under that? I can't tell. I did crouch under it. It seemed to work fine. What's that do? Why are there flames down there? Well, that one's metal. Oh, it did. I see. It knocks it down. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's see how we can do this. Little sideways shuffle. Okay. 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 Oh, I just about fell. Okay. I now have two metal pieces if I need them. So how do we do that? I could probably... Oh, I have an idea. I don't know that this is the quote-unquote correct solution. But if I mix Magnesis and Stasis right here, I should be able to block... Oh, I just knocked it off. It's fine. I should be able to block two of these at once. Let's see if we can do it. This is this could be a fun little coordination uh, exercise. Okay, just need to scoot it a little bit. So here's my thought: if that one gets all the way over, right there, it's stasis. Then. Move that over. Oh, let's go. That was fun. There's a little chest over there. All right. Uh, one more, one more thought on the uh, Breath of the Wild uh, thought, right? On the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom thought. The good news is, I don't think we're anywhere near to being done with Breath of the Wild. Uh, it's like we talked about a ton of times in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's not my intention to run straight from here to Ganon. It's not my intention to do anything other than continue playing it in a very thorough manner. Oh my god, a 56 Stone Smasher? My inventory is full, but I am very much taking this. I'll get rid of the drill shaft, even though I've only used it once. We'll take that. Hell yes, we will. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, just to be safe here with this really tight angle, we're going to jump over this way. So should I grab these metal things with me, or do I need them? This is a uh, one of these apparatuses. Okay. Oh, to me this looks like a uh, turn it halfway. Uh 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 uh. Turn it like this. Oh yeah. 
Now I just need to find the B button. And I can't I can't tell you where it is because my controller is completely upside down. Oh yeah. Let's go. Ah, I just about fell off. Alright, it's fine. And we got all the chests. Alright. That was a good one. I like that. Not insanely hard, but a fun little uh, green teaser on that last problem, especially. Udania's emblem. That means one left. And uh, it's probably going to mean Igneo Talus, which is good because we have lots of ice weapons right now. So that really should not be a... Uh, a problem for us. Thank you for the heal, by the way. Thank you, uh, monk. Monk of the goddess Hylia. For the heal. I can't stop thinking about that dog uh, tri t uh, tip I got. I don't know what it is, but I can't stop thinking about it. All right. Our last marker's here. I think probably the way I want to go about getting there... You know what? Let's just do it once again. Let's go up to Rudania. Go from here. <clears throat> I have the high ground now, Anakin. The other thing I keep thinking about is what happened at the inauguration with Mifa. You know, that's on my mind too. Uh, nope, I wasn't trying to go near it. Sorry. Fine Beast is taking aim. Sure, sure. I was just going to jump off the cliff. So I believe we are going... Oh, man, it's, it's pretty far the other direction. Okay, um... All right, let's try this. This is either going to go really well or really rough. Please don't trigger the divine beast. Nope, that worked perfectly. All right, cool. How did I ever live before Rivali's Gale? I was just at the whims of the... Uh, I was at the whims of the rain... I had to just sit there and wait for it to stop raining sometimes. I had to cook all these stamina foods so that I could climb stuff in a way that made sense. I've actually never been on this part of the uh, volcano, I don't think. There's actually a really easy way to tell that. Yeah, look at this line. Wow. This is a huge area we've not been into at all, actually. This was the uh, the skeleton. But we haven't really been Elden... And then Gut Jack. We haven't really been Elden's flank either. But I guess I should be looking around for any signs of a... Of a Korok or... <gasps> Hightail Lizard! Shit, come back here. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it, I really need that Hightail Lizard. There's a bunch of, uh... What are they called again? Like... Just Elden Ostriches. Okay, Elden Ostriches. Yep, you're angry, you're angry. Sure, sure. Don't run into the lava! Stay out of the lava. Okay. So I think it's, like, there. I don't see any markers yet. Ooh, there's a little bridge right here. Hey, I think it might be that big piece of lava right there. What do you think? Are there any uh, NPCs we could talk to on the way over here? Oh, shit. Before we do anything, I mean... Yes, there are. Also, we were going to go into town and read the diary. So, let's go ahead and just put this here. 
And then let's go to town first, because I, 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 I care about the diary more than anything else. I don't imagine... Actually... Yeah. We know, we know for a fact that the diary stays readable uh, after you complete the, the quest, but... Let's go get it. Let's go read it right now, anyways. It's not like it's gonna go away, but. Okay. Uh, we want to talk to Bluto, right? Is the name of the boss, and then, uh, you know. Um. Crap. What is the name of the? Uh... of the Goron who uh, is kind and helps us with, hmm, with Goron City stuff. Oh man, my memory sucks. We'll find out here in a second, I'm sure. We'll find out. First off, hi, Bluto. How's it going? It's another scorcher today. You need something? Tell me about Daruk. You know, Bo. You want to know about Daruk, huh? Popular subject these days. Not too long ago, a Rito bard came by wanting to know all about him. I told him about all kinds of things. For example, about the boulder breaker, the Rook's weapon of choice. I told him how heavy it is and how its power is unmatched. You know the valley at Gortrum Cliff, southwest of Gorko Tunnel. I do, I know Gorko Tunnel. Southwest, yes. It was made by the Rook with his boulder breaker in one night. Why? Why? Why do you think? To make it easier for us Gorons to get all that tasty rock roast. That Rito fella seemed to like the other story I told him better, though. I'm not a big fan of that one. The heroic and exciting stories of Daruk capture him, capture him much better. What's the other story? It's not heroic? What do you want to hear about? Legendary sword. Hylian Champion had a legendary sword. The sword that seals the darkness. It was apparently much stronger than even the Boulder Breaker. You've got a pretty sharp blade yourself. Wonder where you got it. Where's Yunobo? Yunobo? I saw him staring off into the distance on top of the entrance gate. Typical. Actually, it seems to me that Yunobo's acting more accomplished and confident these days. Maybe he's finally realized what it means to be a descendant of the great Daruk. Was there something else you needed? I think we're basically good, but let's talk about these, uh... If you lose the boulder breaker, talk to Rohan, the blacksmith. He'll be happy to help you out. It was Daruk's. Daruk used it to fan himself sometimes. It's another scorcher today. So you don't have a, uh... Wait a second. Has there always been a crown on the goddess's head? Is that... That's a rhetorical question. Uh, just a reminder. Maybe it just really... Uh, I'm considering a couple possibilities. Maybe the crown shows up when you have a. Oh. Maybe this. Maybe the crown's only on this one. Maybe there's a crown that doesn't glow on the other ones. I don't know. I was thinking maybe the crown showed up only when you had four spirit orbs to like sort of act as a visual representation of like, hey, guess what? But I don't know. All right, let's go talk to Yunobo. We need to figure out where this diary's at. 
And also, this is high on my mind. Hello, you. Ramella, I need to sell some stuff to you. I want to procure some sapphires. Sark soap. It's a huge help. Ten more sapphires. What else you want? More? That's probably the end for me, right? Oh my god, I'm rich. No? Do I have ten more? Okay. Now here's my other thought. What happens if I show... Oh, I can't do it because I'll, I'll die. Let me try it anyways. What happens if you go up to uh, Ramella in a Vi outfit? All right. This is like when you go to the beach and you forgot your uh, uh, you forgot your sandals, and so you have to do the like really quick shuffle from the car from the car or whatever from the shade to the water. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. Okay, we made it. Will power alone mm. not going to save me from this heat? Ah, a Hylian Vi. The jewels from Goran City are for the Vi in Gerudo Town. I'm afraid. I don't intend to let a Hylian have them. My apologies. Okay, we're on fire. Let me put my other clothes back on. Okay. Okay. Yunobo. Hello. Look at that scarf. Look at that beautiful scarf. The blue. How did I never piece together the blue thing earlier? Hey, the boss said his back is all better, Goro. Oh, and Rudania stopped rampaging. I feel like I can finally take it easy, Goro. Oh, did you need something, Goro? Tell me about Daruk. Mm. About Lord Daruk, Goro? Huh? Oh, that reminds me of something. I found Lord Daruk's training journal. Daruk really wasn't one for uh, writing a diary. Instead, it's a running log. Except for, it's a lifting log. It's his weightlifting log. Mm. Leg day, leg day, arm day, arm day. Nope, no, no. It's really, I know how it goes. It goes forearms, 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 chest, forearms, chest, leg day, chest, forearms. Lord Daruk had a good friend who liked to eat as much as he did. I don't have much of an appetite myself, so I'm pretty scrawny, Goro. Gonna have to start eating lots so I can become as strong as those two. Oh. Training journal. That's right. I found it when I was cleaning out the abandoned north mine where we met. Lord Daruk's training journal is at my house now, Goro. Mm -hmm. I missed one do uh, dialogue line in there, so oh. I'm going to click back through. <sighs> he must have been a big eater. He sure talks about delicious rocks a bunch. A friend who liked to eat oh. just as much. Mm. Oh. Boss is at his home. Go down the road below and you'll find it boss knows a lot about my ancestors. I'd love to have him tell me about hmm? them sometime too. Oh. See you later, Goro. So where is Yunobo's house? I honestly could not tell you. The abandoned north mine where we met is here. I can't remember... Yunobo had a house in town or not. Hmm. Either way, we can do a little bit of shopping here. And I want to buy some arrows. I'll take all your arrows, all three of them. Thanks, brother. Gotta buy all the arrows you can. Beautiful. Okay. Um. That is the inn. That's the armor shop. That is like gut check people potentially. Maybe Yunobo's house is around here. I think there's another building right there. And then maybe right up here. No. Nothing here. Okay. Is 
this it? I feel like this is where the old person slept that we needed to impress. Um. Okay. Yeah, Rohan who makes the thing. Sure. I'm going to need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and a diamond. Don't have a cobble crusher. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Rohan who makes the boulder breaker. That's right. Okay, so now it could be that one. Could be that one. And I think that's about it. Might be the, uh, the mine. So just give me a second to figure this out. A the Rook's training journal. First page. I'm going to start writing in this diary thing starting now. Ugh, a diary. Maybe I'll call it my training journal. They say all you got to do is write down stuff that happens. Us Gorons prefer the simple life. So I hope simple stuff counts. Let's see. For today's journal entry, what should I write about? Oh, I know. I had some rock roast from the peak of Death Mountain. It was delicious. I think I'll eat more of it soon. I talked to some Hylians at the base of the mountain. All anyone wants to talk about these days is Calamity Ganon. Reminds me of when those tiny Shika came to Death Mountain a few years ago to dig up that divine beast or whatever. The Hylians were saying that beast thing is a weapon someone will need to learn how to control. Back in the good old days, Gorons didn't worry about relics we couldn't eat. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Maybe I'll track down a prime rock, rock, rock roast for one of my dinners tonight. One of my dinners. Today I... Uh, second, <laughs> second breakfast? Uh, today I saw someone being attacked when I was out looking for lunch rocks at the peak. He was a little tiny guy, so I rushed down the mountain to help him. I was shocked to find he was handy with a sword. By the time I rolled his way, he'd already taken out all the monsters. I couldn't help but admire his Goron-like strength. While I was distracted, a monster almost got the jump on me. He stopped it. The Great Daruk, saved by a tiny Hylian. I must have had a dopey look on my face when that happened. Hope he didn't notice. That little Hylian from before is named Link. He's got a respectable appetite. Loves to eat meat, fruit, vegetables, all sorts of things a decent person wouldn't dream of eating. Link will cook up and eat just about anything. I offered him some grade A rock roast to help refine his palate. I asked him how it tasted. He liked it so much he was speechless. LOL. I knew Hylians could eat rocks, too. Eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. Daruk, have you tried, uh, charred wood? Uh, eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. The little guy's also incredibly strong. He said sometimes when he focuses, it feels like time slows down. Huh. <laughs> I like that guy. He's the type of guy you can trust to have your back and also have a nice hearty meal with. Yeah, that settles it. From now on, Link is an official brother. Hyrule's little princess came to Goron City and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I said yes. The Great Daruk never turns down someone in need. When I said I would, the princess seemed really happy. I love the simplistic language they give Daruk. There will be four champions to control four Divine Beasts and one swordsman to take on Ganon. Including the princess, our anti-Ganon team is six strong, made up of all different kinds of people. This has the makings of an epic feast. I got the ball rolling by giving the princess my, be my best rock roast. She said thanks, but I think she was holding back a grimace. Must have had something foul on her mind. I'm a champion now. Feels good. I hadn't talked with Link in a while, so seeing him at the inauguration ceremony was nice. It was a good day. Word has it, Link has been chosen as Zelda's appointed knight. I can't think of a better brother for the job. I hear one of those ancient machine things went nuts during some test and shot out deadly beams. With true Goron spirit, 
Link grabbed a pot lid from the ground and deflected the blast. He nailed the thing in its weak spot and saved the day. His bravery caught the king's eye, and not long after that, he was appointed to guard Zelda. With a pot lid, huh? I'd expect nothing else from the... Nothing less from the little guy. I've been chosen to pilot Rudania, but I was having trouble controlling it. I was the only champion who was struggling. I asked Link for advice, but he just shoved me into the Divine Beast so I could explore it aimlessly all day. I can't explain it, but by the end of the day, I was able to control Rudania just how I wanted to. I guess experience is the best teacher. Little guy's strength must come from working hard and never giving up. It's good because Daruk has that sort of wis has wisdom, just not a particularly uh, flowery way of speaking. Good lesson, brother. As thanks, I'm going to treat him to some gourmet sirloin rock. All my Hylian brother seems to do these days is watch over the tiny princess while she does her research. It looks like tough work, but the princess seems a lot happier. And talks more since she's been doing it, so it must be okay. I hear the little guy finally opened up about his troubles to the princess while they were shoveling food. Opened up? Me? Surprisingly, she opened up right back. Said something princessy, like, I guess we're the same, you and I. Hmm. Sounds heavy. They must have been bonding over their food preferences. That'll do it, all right. Speaking of opening up, all this journal writing has made me realize something about myself. Writing makes me hungry. Oh, Daruk. Oh, Daruk. All right. That's Daruk's journal. Let's go uh, kill an Igneo Talus and uh, see if we can't... Uh, Get a memory of Daruk. I hope it involves some eating. I hope it involves a feast. All right. Uh, hello, friend. What are you doing here? Yeah. Crane? Hey there. It's hot today. How great. A Hylian? Here? Does this mean, are you going to go visit Lord Daruk's turf? That's right. I'm following the great Daruk's footsteps, too. In fact, I hear Lord Daruk defeated a huge monster at Lake Darman. Hmm. I wonder what the monster looked like. I wonder as well. Lake Darman. All right. Uh, let's do it. Let's put a, uh, ice weapon on. Let's get it. Hi, friend. Oh, yeah. Didn't do any damage yet because the health bar hadn't showed up, I don't think. Oh, so we really are going to have to fight this out in the middle of the... Oh, this is going to be so dangerous. I'm going to take uh, care to try this. Uh... Ooh, those did hit, right? Yes. To try and uh, not get tossed into any lava today. Ah, just about fell right there. Boulder Breaker would really do some great damage versus this, and that's probably what I should be using. I just realized. I'm not using the uh, the weapon for its... Yep. I'm not using the Frostblade for its intended purpose, so... Did that miss? I think it might have. I think I need to maybe keep in... Oh! I wonder if I... Just noticed something. I might be leaving bullet time too quickly when I do that. 
I like fire the arrow and then I just start gliding. And when I and like let go of the bow and pick and pull the paraglider out, time moves faster that way. And I think half the reason the arrow only flies so straight is it's 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 tough to tell, and it makes no sense physics wise. But I'm pretty sure in bullet time the arrows fly straighter without as much bullet drop that's the wrong word for it um there's another word i don't remember it right now and so i think what's happening is i'm leaving bullet time and either bullet drop is increased or the beast i'm shooting at is moving more and so i'm missing the shots uh because i keep leaving a little bit too early Let me see if I can recreate it. Okay. That one was, I was so close. Let's see if I can just shoot randomly. Yeah, like if I, if I leave a little bit early, I think it, that's a hypothesis I'm working on right now. All right, give me a good whack, Link. Good stuff. Igneo Talus Titan, by the way. I never noticed that it said Titan. It did look a little bit bigger? Question mark? Man, we are steamrolling some of these challenges now. Steamrolling. I feel like Daruk in particular has gone really fast. Is there any, uh... Did the did the Titan happen to drop any uh, diamonds or anything? Cause that'd been fantastic if it did. All right, let's see what this shrine is about. Um, yeah, there've been multiple flame ones so far. So what do you think, flames? Moving targets. Okay, okay. Oh, North Abandoned Mine practice. So here's my thought. Uh, this we can put down in there first, right? And it's only when we launch it that it matters. Uh, so the, the, the timing is important. So let's get stasis ready. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Stasis does not work on any of it, which is totally fair. That's going to make this more fun in the long run. <laughs> uh, also, we need to be on... Shit. We need to be on this screen to blow up when we have the chance. Okay. Um... Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, there's another one. Okay. And this one moves. Sure. No, this one does not move. This one moves. Okay. I think we want it to come down. Can we stasis that? We can stasis that. And the good news about stasis is there's not quite so far a... Uh, I don't even know if there's like a a distance limit, you know? It didn't work because we were stasis. Oh shit. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Damn it. I wonder if that didn't work because we were stasis. Come on, come on! Oh, we just missed that. All right, this one we're going to be prepared for. There we go. There we go. All right, that's one that's one set of doors. The other thing is we have a chest right there. And something to figure out over there. Ooh! I wonder if I can just turn this. Uh, 
Uh, that did not work. Okay. And fire it when it's, like, angled like this. You know? It kind of looks like that... Whatever that is up there would break. It probably has to do with whatever is over to the side. So let's try it. It almost worked. Sorry, I don't know if that made any sense. Getting that chest probably has to do with something that is available right here. But... Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's do this. Let's put a fire arrow on. Let's use a frantic bow. It is metal, or it is wooden. Okay, so we broke it. Now, can I get to it? See, did I help myself there, or did I hurt myself? <laughs> did I do a good thing or a bad thing? I can't tell. Can I get in this one? It kind of looks like I can... I probably should have shot the thing first and tried to land it in that. I know I've tried it every time, right? I know I've tried it. I tried it on the other one too. But can I shoot myself out of this thing? All right, let's just go run over there and experiment. Get a closer look. How do we get this thing out of here? It's metal, so I can just grab it. Duh. I can just magnesis it. That makes way more sense. Way more sense. Diamond, hello. All right. So now, let's go to this other side and see. Uh, it looks like a, gy a gyroscope uh, idea. Yes. So, this... Ooh, this seems fun. Okay. What's stasisable? That is stasisable. Bomb must hit that thing. Is anything magnesis full? No? What's... Gyroscopable. Okay. All right. Interesting. Sounds to me like we kind of want it to slide down. And then maybe have it a little bit like... That... Yeah? Oh, there's another one. I love that. Love it when there's an extra hidden one, secret one. A secret. So now we need this fucker to get out of the way. That's fun too. Um, what is the easiest way to get it out of there? Oh my god, is it supposed to be a Oops, okay. Let's see here. This way. Uh, drop it. Can I hit that? Can we shoot? Can we field goal this shit? I never played football. Oh, that didn't work. What? How close was it? I need to know. Oh, no. What did you do? Why did you reset? No. Damn it. Hmm, okay. I think it has to probably be some variation of this. Let's do that. That's a little bit lower, I believe. Oh. 
Oh, that worked. It wasn't. It was off one of the uprights. It wasn't exactly lined up, but it was good enough. And we have all the chests. All right. Well, well, well. That might be our last shrine of the champion's ballot. I just realized. Oh, no. We'll see. Maybe there's a whole nother set. Haven't you met the 5th, 6th, and 7th champions? 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th champions? Uh, you know. There's four more. And they all have diaries. And they all have three shrines each. There might, there might be more. Maybe. I doubt it. But we'll see. One can always hope. There's always another game after this one. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, well, that is probably where I need to call it for the night slash the episode. Um, I need to get up early tomorrow to go run some cross-country practice. So uh, that probably should be it so that we can go experience the memory and the... I'm smoking. I'm on fire. Why am I on fire? I'm wearing the same clothes, right? Oi, it's my bow! Shit! That explains it. Um, We'll experience the memory and Rudania and uh, Fireblight Ganon all in the next episode. So... That's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, a like or a positive comment helps us out a bunch with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm sure some people just found out today in this episode that I'm not planning on playing Tears of the Kingdom right after, uh, right after Breath of the Wild. So, you know, uh, I'm sorry to those people, you know, I had... Trust me, if I could if I could absolutely guarantee the type of over the top excitement and uh and energy um that I think that that game deserves and if I could guarantee that energy and excitement for 200 to 300 straight episodes, I I'd, I'd start it right afterwards. But I got to play the long game and take care of my mental health and keep things fresh for me. This uh, you know, uh by the time by the time we're done with Breath of the Wild, I'll have been making video. I'll, I'll probably have been making videos for four straight years, uh, daily blind videos on YouTube. So four times 365, you know, I'm not very good at math. That's like 730, 1460. It'll probably be a couple less days than that because I don't No, It'll be it'll be quite a few days less than that. Maybe maybe 1300, 1400 straight days of YouTube. Uh, blind videos. I've learned a thing or two, and that thing that I've learned is no matter what, I have to keep it fresh for myself. And um, yeah, so uh, hopefully no hard feelings. Uh, and if you do, I understand. So That's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Breath of the Wild. Until then, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!